Hello everyone, so we need to learn the classification of Euglena viridis firstly then we will study its diagram firstly we need to know what is its phylum what is its subphylum what is the superclass what is the class of Euglena viridis and then the order genus and then species so these are some basic rules of classification. Phylum is protozoa. Subphylum is sarcomestigophora. Superclass is mestigophora. Mestigophora is common. And the class is phytomestigophora. Then the order is Euglenida, genus is Euglena and species is Viridis. And don't forget to underline the genus and species. So this was the classification. Now we are going to draw a diagram of Euglena Viridis. It is simply a leaf-like structure. So first of all we need to make an outline that is the pellicle of uh, euglena so right now i'm making a rough diagram but you need to make it very clearly and uh, this is just a simple way to explain that these are some parts and this is how you can draw it so firstly I made the nucleolus and then I draw a line which is called a rhizoplast the dotted line I made and now I am making a flagella this is a locomotory flagella I am not making it very clear because it is a spherical one flagella is uh, long while the other is a whip like these are stigma and there I made a large contractile vacuole also now I am making granules which are also known as paramylum bodies these are present in the center of the euglena These are simply three circles and now I am making the chromosomes which is present in the nucleolus. This is a general shape and organelle is found in euglena. Now the dotted line I am trying to make is uh, myonemes. Myonemes are a denser part present in its body while there is a less denser part other than the myonemes. These are the places where I have not dotted it with red lines. Sorry, red dots. These are the places which are not much denser as the myonemes. I'm making it right now. So these are the shapes I am not making it really clear but I am trying to show you the basic structure of Euglena Veritas So this is the less tensor part but it is also a part of myonemes. The 
paramyelum bodies, granules are present in it, the nucleolus is present in it. These are the small contractile vacuoles around the large contractile vacuole. And now I need to do a little bit of detailing and labeling. So I am writing here locomotory flagellum. But this is not the right way to describe a diagram. Try to mark it left side mostly but this is not the right place where I can draw and label it. So I am not doing it properly. Still the middle line which I write it down is a rhizoplast. It is blast, rhizoplast. The outer ectoplasm. And then there is inner part which is known as endoplasm. This is uh, nucleus. It is a part of nucleus. The dark region was endoplasm. This layer which is the outermost layer which is known as pellicle. This pit like structure is cytosome. And the swollen part of this is called paraflagellar body. It is present at the tip where from where it arises. This is the large contractile vacuole. And around it the small vacuoles are known as the accessory vacuoles. Please don't mind about the spellings and handwriting. I'm just giving them an overview. This is, um, as we all know, granules, or it can also be known as paramyelum bodies. Now these uh, thread-like structures are uh, present in nucleus. It is nucleolus and this is nucleosome. Now I am going to mark it with the red color that this is chromosomes. This swollen black tip is known as blepharoplast from the both flagella. This tip is known as blepharoplast. This part, which I also told before, is known as myonemes. That region is known as nuclear membrane. The outer membrane of nucleolus is known as nuclear membrane. This was all about nucleus. And uh, this is the general structure. But do not label it like that. It is a really bad labeling. I know it. But uh, I am just trying to fit it anyway. So these small granules kind of structure are known as stigma. Thank you.